What is going on guys and welcome back to episode 7. So in this episode it's going to be part 2 of our Suryuline adventures. Uh, hopefully we'll pick up the Cascade badge in this episode. I have a little bit more hope I guess you could say in getting it because we do have a level 25 Jolteon now as well as the 25 uh, level 25 Elikid that we used in the last episode. Our arm bark just wasn't doing it for us and uh, he wasn't that great and you guys are like, get rid of that thing. So I picked up an Eevee and uh, actually leveled him up to a Jolteon and leveled him 25. So if you guys want to actually check out the live streams, uh, I don't even really post it on YouTube too much. I don't want to spam you guys with that. Uh, I do every once in a while, but I'm going to start doing more and more Twitch live streams as well. I like it. It's fun. Uh, if you'd like to check that out, I'll have that in the description so you guys can do so. But look at this, guys. We got a new uh, kind of like warping system on the server. This is the Pokey Express, and uh, it'll take you to, well, I guess <laughs> Felix kind of blocked it off right now. We don't want too many people in Suryuline while uh, I'm actually trying to get this gym badge here. But um, as you can see, though, it's supposed to have the signs here. But considering that the next town that you're supposed to be going to, you're supposed to take the ship, which is over in that direction. So this isn't really a good place to show you. But mostly in every town other than this one, because you do need to take the ship to the next uh, town, they have the signs on the seats here where you can actually warp to all the different towns. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so let's go over here. And uh, let's go to the PC. We'll level cap these Pokemon. And... I want to see if we need if we need anything outside of our chest. Do we need anything out of our chest? Mm. Nope. I think we should be good to go. I think I will put these... Uh, oh, okay. I already got some on. Never mind. Alright, and also in the last episode, I had this Muse sitting here. And I didn't even notice it until um, I actually replayed the episode. And I'm sorry about that, guys. Basically, I was giving somebody on the server a Mew. Uh, they probably donated for it. And so that's probably why that's there. He probably wanted one with a special move or maybe a certain size. So anyways, getting into what we need here. Okay, so we need to level cap our Pokemon. I forgot that in the update they changed it to where you don't even have to go to a PC now. You can actually just go to your stats and go up to the little level deal. And it says, yep, so we'll go ahead and disable that. And we'll disable them for our Jolteon as well. All right, so we should be good to go. Let's go over here and um, try and take this cascade gem down and I believe I forget what TM you get with this gem but the rules are pretty much the same I think I went over these in the last episode what's up dude we got Bryant Bryant in uh, the gym this time last time it was by destiny we got a couple for each gym now I think we're up to like four gyms now guys we're working on the fifth gym so we're almost complete with them which is pretty awesome as well okay so here we go let's go ahead and start our battles off um, waiting. Here we go. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Thunderfang. Oh man, it doesn't look like he's got too many good moves here. Ah, uh, but Thunderfang should do it. I think. I don't know. I know that our Arbok had Thunderfang, and it didn't do hardly anything on uh, the Pokemon there. Oh, but it did actually. Nice. It looks like he just took him out. So it looks like we got a Starmie to go against here, and we have two Pokemon to do it. So if we can't do it, that's just going to be bad. And our Jolteon actually went first this time as well, so his speed must have been a little bit higher than the star use. So that's pretty boss as well. Jolteon. All right. Looks like battling's taking quite a little bit of time here. Oh, nice. Did I just get a critical hit on that too? Wow. Awesome. Alright, so it looks like we just took down the Cascade Badge. And let's see what TM we get. I forget what TM we actually get with this. And it's Scald. Okay. Yeah, so we get Scald, which is a really beast move to be honest. And then we get our Cascade Badge. Thank you so much, Bryant. I do appreciate it. And uh, with that gym takedown I think it's only right to go ahead and do the shiny giveaway for the last um, episode which was the random the random shiny and I'm gonna go ahead and generate a random generator now and we'll figure out what shiny you do get when you get on the server we'll run the random generator for that and you will get uh, whatever shiny then so let's go ahead and run the generator 
All right, guys, so it looks like the winner of the random shiny is going to be Deadlocks5008. All right, buddy, so Deadlocks5008, hit me up on the server or any other admin. Let them know that you are the winner of the random shiny. I'll let them know who to be looking for, and uh, you should be all good on that. So with that being said, though, let's go ahead and leave Suryuline. We've definitely had enough of that, two episodes in Suryuline. And uh, let's go ahead and warp it on over to Vermilion. So as you can see there, like I was talking about the train, uh, this is the only one where you do have to take the boat over to Vermilion, which is actually the SSN. I know it doesn't really coincide with uh, the yellow version or anything like that, like it's supposed to. I think it's Vermilion that you take to actual Fuchsia, and uh, that's where you take the SSN to. But we kind of switched it up a little bit, I guess. But as you can see, we just got this city done not too long ago. It looks pretty boss. And... Um, I just want to show you guys real quick because we're definitely not going to be able to take this gym leader on quite yet. It's one Pokemon level 35 and under. And I'm trying to think. This one is... It's not poison. It's it's thunder. Okay. So this is the thunder gym basically. So what we need to do is we need to get a water type or we need to get a rock type. So I don't really have any rock types that we can use, but I do have... A water type and we could use our marsh stomp and see if that actually works because if our speed is better and we get that first hit we might even be able to just take them right out so that's my plan if that doesn't work we'll have to go to the extreme hills and get a um, have to get a rock type but I think we can probably do it with our marsh stomp so let's go back to I don't even know why I'm going this way let's go over here to the train we'll go back to uh, spawn probably and hit up the warp board and go ahead and start leveling up our marsh stomp here so yeah let's go to the train and why are you not celadon we'll go back to celadon i guess i need to fix that i'm just going to go ahead and put all the different warps in there but we're in celadon now let's see if this one has gotten fixed because i remember i remember fixing this the other day but i guess maybe it didn't save or something i don't know but I did have the... What's up, Dominic? He's invisible right now. He thinks I probably can't see him. But I, I see you, bro. I'm an admin, too. I can't see you. There's Felix, too. <laughs> All right. So I need to go to spawn. I, I need to go to spawn. Let's go ahead and turn our chat on. Uh, do, 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 do. And we'll go ahead and show that so that I can type in a few commands, such as spawn here. And we'll go back to spawn. And I want to hit up the warp board. As well as I do want to get our Marsh Stomp out of the PC here. Or why am I clicking on my inner chest? There we go. Alright, so we'll put these guys up. And we'll trade them out for the Marsh Stomp here. And, okay, so he's he's all ready to go. He's got 61 HP out of 61. And let's see here. Water is obviously good against fire. And it would be good to probably level these guys up. I'm trying to think of where the fire Pokemon spawn. I think Magmar and them spawn in the desert. I'm not really sure. I know a few spawn in forest as well. As well as hills, I think. So, let's just go to the hills. I think we got a new, uh, a new extreme hills biome here as well that we did set. And we should probably be able to see some Volpixes out here, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that should level us up pretty good as long as we can find a decent one that's a decent level. Looks like we got somebody over there training. Alright guys, so we're back at spawn. I didn't find too much at the extreme hills like I thought I was going to. I found a couple bowl fixes, but they were low levels and uh, really weren't worth fighting. So I think I'm going to go check out the desert biome and see if we can't find something out this way. I think this is one of the biomes we haven't actually checked out. And uh, see if we can't find something out this way. I know Magmar spawn out here. I'm pretty sure. That's one thing I should have probably picked up was my Pokedex as well. Because I saw one of those Pokemon. It's like the Sun Pokemon. It looks like a like a Sun. And I don't know what type of Pokemon that is. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. That'd be awesome. But uh, that's a weird looking Pokemon. It definitely is like from some other gen. Because like I was telling you when I started this series, I'm used to the red yellow and blue versions um, that came out. I play a little bit of silver but not too much not enough to know a lot of the new gens but like I said 
just playing Pixelmon on the server with the new gens, uh, I really enjoy it because I learn quite a bit uh, from from you guys telling me in the comments section as well as playing as well as just being on the server quite a bit so anyways though guys i think that pretty much wraps it up for this episode this is part two of the seruline gem so we did get our badge everything's good to go we need to level up our marsh stomp a little bit so that it will be ready for the vermilion gem i also might now that i think about it go ahead and maybe catch a rock gem pokemon because you can normally find them or not rock gem but just rock pokemon in general because you can normally find them in the extreme hills biome relatively at a high um, level anyway so I think I might do that off screen maybe I might stream that or something like that as well as I might stream some of the other battles getting ready for vermilion gym so anyways if you'd like to check that out like I said I'll have the twitch link in the description where I do live streams and stuff like that if you guys are enjoying this series thus far just let me know with a comment or maybe even a like guys other than that I will see your face in the next episode peace out guys